Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and I'm re-uploading this video for the sake of the introduction. I feel like there's some things that I didn't explain in the video, and even though I put them in the comment section, they tend to get overlooked. So, the first thing I want to say about this video is the Galaxy S7 that I purchased, I did not purchase with the intent of returning. I purchased the phone, I was going to use it for a review, I used it in my unboxing, and then I ended up getting a review unit from Samsung. Thank you so much to Samsung for that. So I had this unit that was just gonna sit around. So I figured that I would return it so I could use that money to purchase the LG G5 for review. Then I come up with this plan. All these people have been doing all these crazy waterproof tests, but I wanted to see in real life application what this new Galaxy S7 can withstand and still survive. So I figured that, hey, if I do some of these tests, Will this thing still work perfectly enough and look pristine enough to where it is still good enough to be returned to the store? So that was kind of my crazy idea and it worked. I will explain a little bit more at the end of the video, but the takeaway here is that I had absolute no ill intent at all to make this video. I simply wanted to educate the public. Also, just so you know, I talked to Best Buy and the device is on its way as we speak back to the manufacturer who is most likely going to disassemble it and use it for parts. So the phone is not going to be resold, just in case anyone was a bit uncomfortable. So let's get into the video so you can see what this device can withstand. Hello? I'm in the shower, can I call you back? Seriously? No, it'll take five minutes. And the audio seems to be all right again. So that's good. That's good. So it definitely survived. That is a really, really huge boon for people who want to purchase this phone. It looks like you're going to be pretty good in most circumstances. Although if there's soapy water or anything that's going to get past the mesh, the membrane that's covering the speaker, you will probably have a phone that fails or a lot of water pressure under deep, deep water. I'm sure that the phone is going to fail in those circumstances, but for other everyday life circumstances, it looks like you're covered. You're good. Please, please know that if there was anything minutely wrong with this phone, the tiniest scratch, anything, I would have kept the phone and I would have refurbished it myself, rebuilt it like I've done in the past and maybe even given it away, something like that. I returned it in good faith knowing that it was 100% working and I was completely shocked. And I just wanted to share that with the world so that you can be comfortable with what you are buying. And if anyone is further curious, I'm an elite member with Best Buy. I purchase things from them and spend thousands of dollars a year with them. So there's no shortage of things that I buy from them. So I don't just return things 
willy-nilly. I keep 99% of what I buy. This was just solely for the fun and for the experiment. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this. So thanks for watching and goodbye. That's a big spill. How do you feel? It's all over the table, under the table, over here, and all the chairs. Always cleaning up after Eric's messes. What?